Good morning, it's Thursday, December 26th. I'm Mark Liverman, and here are the stories we're keeping our eye on. Sirens warning of a rocket attack from the Gaza Strip prompted security to rush Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu off stage during a campaign event. Israeli authorities confirmed a rocket had been fired yesterday, but said its Iron Dome missile defense system intercepted it. There were no reports of injuries. It was surprisingly quiet in North Korea on Christmas. The communist nation had promised a gift to the U.S. earlier this month. It was widely expected to be a ballistic missile or nuclear weapons test, though no tests were detected. South Korean media reports four American surveillance planes flew over the Korean peninsula. Pyongyang has also threatened to take unspecified action if U.S. sanctions are not eased by the end of the year. And according to a report from AAA, today is expected to be the worst day of the year for delays and congestion. Between December 21st and January 1st, more than 115 million people are expected to travel for the holidays. Air travel is up 5% from previous years, and more than 104 million people are expected to be on the roads. So what's your trick for dealing with holiday travel? Let us know. Those are the stories we're keeping our eye on. We'll see you tomorrow.